What do we have in the house today? We have Hooligan. Hey. <laughs> um, so another episode of Review Bros. <laughs> <laughs> We're having an episode. Uh, so yeah, Matt, what have you got in the house today? Um, so yeah, thank you to Apollo Nutrition for getting us out. Hooligan, um, if you haven't already seen, we've already done the Assassin Review, um, which has come around quite well to people in yeah. general. Um, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe and stay tuned for the, our review on this Hooligan product. Thank you. Okay, so moving on to the taste of Hooligan. So there's two flavours, strawberry margarita and orange mango. Yeah, so obviously we've got the, or the uh, strawberry <laughs> margarita. Um, so that's the only one we're going to be able to comment on. Um, we'll, we'll also let you know the mixability of this. Just one scoop of pop, isn't it, on this bad boy? Not two scoops. Mm. That's right. Like it, is. it is quite a big scoop. It is only 20 servings per tub. Mixability is fantastic, actually. Nothing in the bottom. Oh, yeah. That might be one of the best. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> 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 I'm going to right. get a better tester than that. Pleasant. I will say it's a little bit nicer than Assassin for me personally. <laughs> well, is it not nice? I quite like it. Yeah. I don't normally like strawberry products mm. though. So that was that was always gonna be a bit of a weakness for me. But it's quite it's very sweet. Yeah. So if you don't like sweet then I wouldn't say get it. Well, <laughs> let's point you, it all on that. Page. <laughs> let's you, yeah. <laughs> Not a high off pre workout already. Yeah, I would um, say I've got a number in my head, and it's funny that I think three, it's... either three point two five or three and a half, somewhere in there, I reckon, because it's a uh, it edges assassin out. I think. Yeah, I'd go three and a half. That's fair. Uh, mixability is great. It's quite sweet, like I said. Um, definitely tastes like strawberry margarita. Goes down perfectly fine, really. Okay, so we're going to move into the price segment of this um, episode. Um, this product is a premium product. Um, I've just got to start by saying that before we delve into the actual uh, score of the product in terms of price. Um, it is an expensive product. Um, it's forty nine ninety five US dollars. Um, I know they do sales quite a lot, so you probably can find it cheaper. This is just us going off the Apollo website. Um, that's not including shipping if you're getting it from abroad. But that's like I say, not including voucher codes or or discounts or sales. So you may be able to get it cheaper. But based on forty nine ninety five, um, which translates as thirty nine pounds and twelve pence in. Uh, Great British Sterling, <laughs> um, and it is only a 20 serving container. It is a big container, I must add, so it is a big scoop. Um, it's a nice container, a bit of shine to it. Nice packaging. Um, nice packaging, yeah. Um, but on 20 servings for £39.12, it's £1.95 uh, per serving, which is actually on our scale um, only a 1.5 out of 5, so that is... An expensive product, however, do remember a premium product, and that's based on a full scoop. So, for those of you out there who might not want to do a full scoop, you do have the option, obviously, to go half scoops, and I'm sure it'll get good results, um, as you'll be able to tell when we do go through the ingredients. Mm. Um, so, don't be put off by the 1.5 out of 5, that's just a scale we have to go by. <laughs> Okay, so before we train on this bad boy, um, we're just going to run through the very potent ingredients list as usual. We can feel it already. Yeah. So it's going to be interesting. So I'll lay down the facts and you'll lay down the stats or vice That's versa. Vice versa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I do warn you on here straight away, warn the extreme potent potency used with caution. So we don't want to hear any excuses. No fillers, no additives. <laughs> Um, so that's really good how transparent they are in here. Like you said, it even goes into detail about the colourings and everything. Yeah, it's even got like its um, food colouring, 30 milligrams. So um, 
it shows good confidence in their yeah. in their um, dosings yeah. and whatnot. Um, so let's dive in then. Mm. So we have vitamin B six, B twelve, the exciting ones. Um, bit of sodium. Um, and now we're moving into the main ingredients. We have L citrulline L malate at six thousand milligrams. Oh, so that's a really really good dose of um, citrulline. Um, four grams is actually generally the normal for mm. about four, two to four grams actually. So six. Um, is a... We've seen it go up to eight, but six is a fantastic amount, and that's obviously your pump ingredient. Um, it's going to boost the nitric oxide levels in the bloodstream as well. Awesome. So we've got the classic up next, beta alanine as carnosine. So that's the premium. One, yeah, so carnosine, um, beta alanine is that patented version. Um, so they would have had to pay out to get that into this into this product. Um, beta alanine obviously being the, the um, ingredient that is a lactic acid buffer. Um, it's going to help you with recovery. Um, it's also the very famous one that gives you the tingles and the itches before training. <laughs> so whether you like that or not. Um, it's in there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, the, uh, the standard dose, which yeah. is a 3,200 milligrams. I'd say that's a perfect On amount. Par, yeah. yeah. Um, next up, L leucine at 2,000 milligrams. Um, you find 2,000 milligrams of L leucine and amino acid in virtually all pre workouts. Um, it's just there for general health and, and well being, really. It's not, it's not going to um, influence anything as such directly towards bodybuilding or. Mm powerlifting but it's a it's a general health ingredient awesome um oh cool they got creatine hcl in here at 2000 milligrams as um, well. so that's the more concentrated version of creatine how much 2000 milligrams yeah, yeah that's a nice dose about um, right, isn't it? especially the concentrated version mm. that's going to just keep your strength topped up um yeah Endurance. <laughs> Endurance, yeah. Um, so we got agmatine sulfate up next at 1000 milligrams you remember this one don't you this is the pump one, that's about all I remember. Yeah, so it's the nitric <laughs> oxide booster. Um, yeah, we can't say much more than that. How much was it? Uh, a thousand milligrams. Yeah, I think that is the very standard amount. So that just tops up the L citrulline. <clears throat> yeah, it's still pump ingredient. Yeah. Um, next up, we have cloline bitrate, if I'm pronouncing that right, at 1000 milligrams. Um, so there's. Uh, it's quite a new sort of one. That's one we don't really see, no. so we did have to do a little bit of research on it. Um, what I will, what from what the studies we've looked into, and we did look into it quite a lot. There's um, there's been like tests done that show that it improves heart and liver health. Um, it's a neurotransmitting enhancer, so it's going to help you with that focus and concentration, and it does definitely help with um, muscle, muscle contractions control. and control, and um, Inflammation management, so um, obviously where you're breaking down, tearing down these muscle fibres, the inflammation won't be quite as bad, so hopefully the next day you won't be as sore, so it's a recovery agent as well. It's a nice beneficial ingredient to have in there then. Um, next up we have L-tyrosine at 750 milligrams. L-tyrosine, so as you know, how much, sorry, 750? 750, yeah. I think we've seen that go up to 1,000, but yeah. 750 will do the job. So L-tyrosine is responsible for improving alertness in the gym. Um, it's been shown to improve it under stressful situations, which, let's face it, the gym environment will be. Um, so it's just a mental enhancer. Sweet. Um, caffeine at 600 milligrams. Is Boom. Like this. So, so this is, um, <laughs> yeah, this is the one that has caused controversy. Um Again, um, it's up to you whether you take this product or not. No one's going to force it into your mouth. Um, and you can do smaller dosages. Um, mm. But again, toxic dosages start from 3,000 milligrams plus. Lethal dosages are from 10,000 milligrams plus. Um, so 600 milligrams, for, unless you've got a, um, a condition already, yeah. then it's not going to harm you. 600 milligrams is the highest amount of caffeine through any pre-workout we've done in the past. Yeah. At the, at the recommended dose um, that's your main well that's the main stimulant of this pre-workout I, I assume yeah at 600 milligrams you're going to feel very alert I mean that's the same as five six cups of coffee yeah <laughs> three cans of Red Bull or Monster um, but very effective at 600 milligrams yeah, all in one hit so as long as you're putting it to use in training then there's nothing wrong with that uh, next up, we have hordenine at 50 milligrams. Hordenine. 
Um, yeah. How much? 50 milligrams? Yeah. Um, so hordanine is the fat burning um, ingredient, I believe. Um, it's also shown in some studies we saw that, that it does... Um, <laughs> 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 if in doubt, whack the studies out. Well. Yeah. Huh? If in doubt, whack yeah. the studies out. <laughs> Is a stimulant um, that raises breathing rate, blood pressure and heart rate. Um, so all of those things are co will come in useful in the gym. It's going to help with endurance. Um, and it's those sort of um, effects that will lead to weight loss. I mean, the studies are quite limited on that, but that, that is definitely something you'll do. It's common sense, really. Awesome. Um, anything else? Uh, next up, we have one that I've not really seen much of myself. Piper nigrum, in brackets, fruit extract. As, as bioperine. bioperine. So is that like um, a black That's pepper? a digestive enzyme, mm. well, ingredient. So that will help with your digestion of the product, which, as there's quite a lot in it, you, do, you will definitely need that. Next up, we have your himbine at four milligrams. Um, so your himbine um, is from the African evergreen plant. Bark. Well, tree. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's the bark. Um, it's been used in uh, medicine for years and years. Um, it's shown to improve blood flow to, to muscles in the body. <laughs> um, originally, particularly for sexual muscles, um, but we do use common sense and, and uh, sort of gain the feeling that we'll, we'll, <laughs> it will improve blood flow to every area of the body. Not just um, the... Uh... And it has been also shown to improve nitric oxide levels. Yeah. Um, so it's a pump ingredient. Yeah. That's what she said. <laughs> Take that as you will. Last, <laughs> <laughs> Last up is... Uh... Hooperzine at 50 mcg. Micrograms. Micrograms. Um, so that is for um, originally um, for Alzheimer's patients, believe it or not. Um, being in that it will help you with alertness, concentration, focus and memory. Um, so it is a neurotransmitter and enhancer. Um, it's going to give you that focus in the gym, um, which we've had good results from it in the past. So we yeah. will see. And that, that sums up the label. So I hope that that gives you an understanding of just how stacked this list yeah, is. Yeah, it's quite a stacked list. Yeah, it's almost as stacked as us. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Um, and we're going to get down the gym now because it's starting to really kick in. Yeah. And we'll uh, come back to you with the honest review. Okay, guys. So um, we're back from the gym, um, back from a heavy and long leg day. Um, did get the work done for sure. Um, we took the hooligan of obviously. Um, I'm just going to run through our thoughts and feelings on the product, um, how it made us feel, etc., etc. Um, so I'll start by saying, um, very good, very very, <laughs> very good. good. <laughs> um, I've still, even though I look dead, and I do, I am dead. My legs <laughs> <Inside>. are dead. <laughs> my brain is still functioning um, yeah. to a. To um, a Healthy degree, degree. <laughs> um, so I do feel the mental alertness one hundred percent, and I've still got the energy inside me. I could I could have carried on. We did a, a quite a long leg day, you know, five sets of heavy squats, four or five sets of heavy leg press, leg extensions, hamstring curls, um, leg um, straight leg deadlifts, um, and a couple of other exercises thrown in just for good measure. Um, yeah, energy levels were brilliant on Hooligan. Um, I personally, from the label, kind of expected to crash quite early on it, maybe. Um, yes, okay, you could argue that 600 milligrams of caffeine should keep you going, but caffeine on its own normally wouldn't. Um, you know, it doesn't have um, L-theanine in it. Or, Any prolonging ingredients. Yeah, kind of L-tearcrine. Um, it does, yeah, as far as I can see, there's nothing in there that's going to extend the life of that caffeine in the digestive system but it did it held up very well yeah. um really good session pumps were very good um felt strong we both got a couple of pbs today um well pbs in in recent times yeah anyway. in a few years anyway um so yeah i've got a number in my head of effects um i can only presume that craig's got the same sort of number yeah so um, um... To rate this, we're basically putting it up against Assassin naturally because it's the same. Uh, it's come from the same 
company. Yeah, and, and against all other pre-workouts as well. Yeah. Um, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, but, go on. I would say that um, it's the best pre-workout that doesn't have exotic ingredients. Or yeah. At least very high on that list of uh, the best one. Yeah, 100% one. agree. Obviously, no DMHA, Aria Gerensis, Juglans Rhea, um, et cetera, et cetera. All that funny stuff. Um, no DMAA. Yeah. None of those ingredients in it. It's more like a, a pump yeah. slash caffeine um, based pre workout. Um, but as said, energy was very consistent, Con concentration was very good. So the number in my head is 4.75 out of 5. Um, purely because Assassin was a tiny bit better. Probably on the basis of just. having the exotic ingredients. And we have been told by the man himself who runs the company, Rob, that um, he uses this more for bodybuilding style training and Assassin more for powerlifting Which style I would training. agree with. If you um, kind of had to explain it. For, Assassin's um, more explosive, isn't it? Yeah, explosive and more more focused with Assassin. Yeah. Um, Assassin, I would use on an extremely um, heavy or powerlifting style yeah, day. Yeah. Also, I'd Power use building. that on a day where I felt excessively tired, worn out after work, um, and something that I knew would also last, you know, the two hours plus. This is more angled for pump. It's got a bit more L-citrulline than Assassin. Um, on a daily basis, I'd take this over yeah. Assassin, definitely. Yeah. So, um, and the pump was on par with... Or better than Assassin? It's hard to say because we train different body parts, but based on the label, it would suggest that it's a bit better. Yeah, because um, there's six grams of L-citrulline yeah. um, and a few other pieces which we've run through already. So if I had to guess, I would say a little bit better. So yeah, that, that finalises our, our thoughts on it. So now we're going to run through to the final verdict. Okay, final verdict time with the hooligan. So we gave Taste a 3.5, so yeah. it edged Assassin. And again, um, I must base it on the fact that I'm not, a, I've never been a strawberry fan, especially strawberry margaritas. Um, I've normally in the past slated them. But considering it's quite nice, eh? Hey? Yeah, I, yeah, three and a half out of five. Um, the orange mango, I personally would probably would prefer. Nicer. prefer. Um, so that's 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 up to you guys. I mean, if you like strawberry flavored products, then it's probably a four or more. Yeah, exactly. So it's a bit preference based, but mixability in our preference, we would give it a three. Mixability was fantastic. Yeah, no clumping. So no awesome frothing. on taste, really. Mm. So well three and a half. Um, we gave the price a one and a half, uh, based on the fact that it was one pound ninety five a serving. With the potential to double that if you half scoop, but as you know, we have to do it on the full pack um, serving. But again, that is your um, opinion, whether it's worth it or not. Um, there is an extensive list of ingredients. This would be considered your Ferrari of... Um, Prees. <laughs> so yes, you could buy a, um, a cheaper car, of course, um, but you're not going to get the same results, potentially, as yeah. this might give you. So, you know, we're going on our scale of 1.5. I think it, the price is justified. Personally, I would probably pay that money for something like this because I really enjoy it and it's a premium product. Yeah, and I'd probably free quarter scoop it every day. Yeah. So that leaves effects. Effects 4.75 and you agreed with that, yeah, didn't you? Yeah, I definitely agree. So Assassin does edge it slightly on the basis that it does have the D uh, DMHA and all that business. Yeah, so adding it up, we've got the 3.5 plus the 1.5 is 5, plus the 4.75 is 9.75 out of 15. Um, and we've preached this before in the past. The taste and the price kind of are the minimal... Um, the least important Yeah, factors. the least important. Yeah. And effects the effects are, are at. the main one. Yeah. Um, and that being a 4.75 is brilliant. So 9.75 on the ratings overall, um, out of 15. But again, effects being the, the real player here. Um, That's it, I think. That sums so it up. If you're a stim junkie, head over to Apollo Nutrition and um, get one of these two pre-workouts. Definitely. Been, they've been a very good company so far and I know that they are planning on sending us some more uh, more of their products um, so keep tuned we'll, we'll try and run through them as well um, and if you enjoyed this video then give it a thumbs up and um, subscribe if you can cheers guys thanks again thank cheers. you